Hola, como esta? Bien. Y tú? I took three years of Spanish in high school and I don't have much to show for it, but today it is the Cinco de Mayo episode of, uh, well, I guess just a design tutorial where we're going to make some Cinco de Mayo themed t-shirts because, A, if you are in Amazon merch tier 10 or you're just looking to make some sales in the near term, this is probably one of the biggest trends, if not the biggest, that we can capitalize on. I mean, I may be wrong. It's very possible that like... Just prepping for Mother's Day is probably maybe going to be even bigger, like an even bigger opportunity. I don't know. I don't know how excited people get about Cinco de Mayo. I mean, you can go look at Amazon, look at BSRs and get a pretty good gauge. But we know that these shirts are selling extremely well right now. Plus, they're a lot of fun to design. And of course, you can you know wear a sombrero while you design for inspiration. So you feel like, you know, a little bit more authentic. And I don't even know what I'm talking about. But anyways, guys, let's have some fun with this video and get started. Real quick reminder, take advantage of the free weekly print-on-demand giveaway. The link is at the top of the description, and two winners are going to be randomly selected and announced this Sunday. Also in the description, I've got a seven-day Merch by Amazon mini course. All you need is your email address, and I'll send you one lesson a day for seven days. And I've got a great Merch by Amazon Facebook group if you would like to join. All right, rather than do a bunch of planning ahead of time for this video, I want to show you exactly as I would go about doing it on my own. I did this in the past, and it got some pretty good feedback, so why don't we do it again? I'm going to start with... Pretty Merch Pro Plus, this is my go-to niche research tool now because I've said a couple times, it's very fast, it's intuitive, it's one click away. Like you guys, uh, I'm sure most people probably keep their Merch by Amazon uh, tab open in their browser all day so that they get notified when they get new sales and they can check on their sales, etc. Uh, so I love it that it's just one click away up there on the research tab. Plus, the search functionality is really nice, better than any other research tool that I've seen to date. So when we're niching down, it's nice to be able to do a keyword search. Uh, all right, so we already know we're doing Cinco de Mayo. So perfect example, Cinco de Mayo and search. And after I do a search, I like to hit grid instead of list. All right, so we can see more of the designs. And here's the thing, right? First things first, we just need, like we already we already know the high level niche. Now we need to find some shirt or some ideas that are sub niches within there, all right? And I'm not a great designer. So when I see a shirt like this, uh, I'm never going to be able to pull something like this off. Like, I already know I'm not a strong enough designer to attempt to execute this. So I'm just going to, you know, give the designer of that a pat on the back and move on. All right. Um, also, though, you guys already know that I am well aware of the limitations of my design abilities. So I also like to uh, go over to all sunsets. Keep it simple. I mean, this is just what process works for me. Uh, they've got professional graphic designers over there and, you know, something like a sunset with, you know, a Cinco de Mayo beer. Easy, right? Sunset with a, well, they have the all American graphics too, even though it's a little bit like all, all Mexican graphics here uh, for Cinco de Mayo, for Cinco de Drinco, as some people call it. Uh, you have the taco sunset with a sombrero on. I mean, you can just have some fun with it, guys. Y you don't need to like have like a formula for, you know, crafting the best design possible and only, you know what I mean? Like sometimes you just, depending on how many upload slots you have, like if you're uploading to Redbubble, Redbubble gives you something like 60 upload slots a day. So you don't have to be like locking yourself into just one choice. All right. We can be flexible here. All right. Plus, by the way, if you have your own like taco graphics or sombrero graphics, you can take, you know, just a standard sunset like this or maybe more of a uh, Mexican themed sunset and you can overlay your own graphics on top of that. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because I'm going to do a design tutorial probably tomorrow, if not, you know, another day this week and show how you can basically cut silhouettes out of sunsets as well and uh, make your own graphics that way, which I'm honestly a big fan of doing it that way as well because it lets kind of the shirt color show through, which then you can upload to multiple different shirt colors and that can be a nice way of standing out. Also, before we get started too, I just wanted to mention that All Sunsets has set up a temporary sale where you can save money. So instead of paying $47 for, and that's, by the way, that's for the year, okay? $47 for one year for an All Sunsets subscription, you can pay $33. Also, I just turned 33, so maybe it's, you know, all these synchronicities lining up. Um, why not go ahead and lock in the discount on All Sunsets and All American Graphics if you're not a member? This is probably the best bang for your buck, in my opinion, as far as maybe other than joining Creative Fabrica for the first month because they give it to you for a dollar. So I got an asterisk, little caveat there. If you're looking to use like paid tools and outsource design, 
Um, one of the easiest ways to outsource design is to not have to have to interact with the human. Like if you do Fiverr, you have to tell them what you need. That takes time. If you do, you know, Upwork or anywhere else, same thing. But if you just join all sunsets, hey, you've got the pre-made graphics here. They've got a bunch. Like what I'm showing you here is just a few, but it gives us something to work with. It gives us a jumping off point. So now I'll go over to Photoshop. Actually, you know, we probably jumped the gun there because we need a, a niche. And here's the thing. Like if I'm doing this authentic, authentico, all right, authentico, the way that uh, I would do this on my own time. Honestly, what I like to do often is grab a sunset graphic, one that I like, and pull it in over here into the design spot. And honestly, like I, I like to just cycle in a bunch of text and make a bunch of versions of downloads. So we've got to figure out which one of these we want to work with first. J okay, I already know this one. This one's the one. That's the winner. All right, and I'm going to show you why in a second. Um, I may actually duplicate the layer. And I guess you guys can't see behind me here if I hide myself, but like the layers tab is behind me if you guys are in Photoshop often or like Photopea or Illustrator or whatever. Everybody has what they like. Canva, I know Canva's popular. Um, figure out what works for you, but I'm gonna show you. You can you can do what I'm doing probably in any of those applications. I'm gonna duplicate the layer first and I'll just call one like um, rectangle taco. And I know you can't see me naming the layer, but the reason I'm calling one rectangle taco is because I want to cut the top off and the bottom off all right or you know i can do it kind of as needed too i guess like i could keep the bottom but the reason i'm doing this is because uh if it ever made sense to do like more you know like i'll show you real quick all right so let's fiesta right that was a that was a big niche that we just saw trending and you're like ryan you're gonna upload a shirt that says let's fiesta like you'll never make a sale maybe the only way to really know is to try right so um, I'm a big fan of just kind of throwing things at the wall and seeing what sticks. We could change the color of this to, you know, red or probably look a lot better actually to just match that pink that's right underneath it. So boom, let's Fiesta. Um, if we're really trying to, you know, it probably look best if you match the width right there as well. Okay. I like that. Let's Fiesta. That could be design number one. Um, as far as like, and I, by the way, I always like to vertically orient my designs rather than keep them floating in the middle of the shirts. Anybody that watches my Redbubble shop reviews, you probably already know that I was going to say that because a lot of people don't do that. And specifically on Redbubble, a lot of people don't. So that, that font is, um, that font is impact. Um, I may actually even consider switching it to like Edmund texture, uh, cause I'm a big, a bigger fan of Edmund texture personally speaking, and I might reduce the width of the letter spacing there if I, I'm just keeping it real here on how I might do it on my own. So there we go. I think that looks pretty good as a quick, easy, like I, I don't like to spend too long because I have a lot of upload slots available on every single site, actually. I mean, Etsy's not limiting me. Uh, Amazon Seller Central is not. Amazon Merch at this point, I have basically infinite slots with tier 200,000. So let's pop back on over to Pretty Merch Pro Plus. We see the number one bestseller just says Cinco de Mayo. So we can just easily make a quick Cinco de Mayo shirt. So actually, I'd already switched over. I'm re recording this from uh, 30 seconds ago. I'd switch the top text to say Cinco, and I'll probably just duplicate this text layer, pull it down here. Um, I'm going to remove the bottom portion of the sunset there. So Cinco. Type day Mayo, change the color to match the sunset there. Maybe just move things around just a little bit. All right, and how about that as a second design? Quick, easy, what's not to love? Um, Nacho Average Dad. I mean, we can easily make one that says Nacho Average Dad. Maybe we switch the sunset though to something that's not a uh, taco since it says Nacho Average Dad. Um, do we have anything that's nacho in here? Uh, we got burritos, we got tacos. So maybe we just grab like a Mexican themed one and we can even drop like the flag maybe. So we can work with this one. By the way, that design looks really good just as a full, but you're supposed to edit, you're supposed to make some edits to them. So I'll probably make it a little bit smaller and uh, swap this to say nacho. And I'll probably change the color of this text to maybe match the yellow in the flag there. So nacho, if we wanted to, we could also like maybe just condense the size to you know, I don't think it needs to be that tall uh, and maybe increase the letter spacing because the flag is a little bit wider. So we could even go like, you know, something like that. Nacho. See, I'm just kind of making it work. You could also change your font selection. I'm just kind of moving quickly here. Uh, I'm going to make this full width and say average dad and probably make this much like significantly smaller average dad. Okay, bigger than that, though. 
So Nacho, Average Dad. Um, sometimes, too, like what you could do is then just duplicate the top layer since I kind of like how that looks and bring that down. Yeah, that, that looks like it's going to work. Average Dad. And I'll just keep resizing. The text resizing game, uh, I don't know any shortcuts for it. It's just something we all have to deal with. Um, but at least now the height is going to match, I think, the uh, or roughly match, I guess. Um, what is this going to be? Negative 5? No, too, too little. So I'm just playing around with the spacing between letters. And then what I can do is I can bring it back up and kind of stretch it to look roughly similar to the height of the top text there. So Nacho, Average Dad. Uh, I think that looks pretty good. <laughs> Even though it's funny, it's got kind of a drunk um, you know, person celebrating Cinco de Mayo there. But Nacho, Average Dad as another design. Uh, what else have we got going on? Stop staring at my tacos. That's hilarious. I'm the Juan for you. Okay, that's a quick, easy one. So, um, I'm the Juan for you. Easy. The Juan. We'll reduce the letter spacing a little bit. And 380. Nope. 350. Still needs to be reduced some. I'm the Juan for you. I'm the Juan for you. So I think in a design like this, if the punchline is that, you know, I'm the one and then for you, then for you should probably be like bigger, right? So maybe we would, uh, you know, scale that up as needed. Looks like that'll fit there. So I'm the one for you. Uh, keep in mind, it's okay to be like at the edge of the, you know, boundary of the shirt. Because when this is printed on a shirt, nobody knows that there that we, we had these design constraints. You know what I mean? So if you just want to like scale things up just a little bit. And utilize the extra space that absolutely can work um also you know like we can turn off that graphic go over to our sunsets and swap in you know the circle graphic as well um and make a second rendition of this shirt you know what i mean like that's that's an easy way of doing this and making multiple versions if you have more upload slots to fill uh you could even use like the mouse here the little party mouse like that definitely can work as well um one quick one that I don't even have to research that I know, you know, will sell is just grab like the beer one, you know, maybe this one actually, this is actually a really nice sunset right here against the black shirt. And, uh, we could just say like, maybe I'll put this towards the top here and I will, and I'll just say Cinco de Drinco easy Cinco de Drinco. So it's still too big reduce the letter spacing here reduce the font size here whoops cinco de drinko i always like to make the text basically as big as i possibly can you guys already know why um make it easy to read from search results and everything else so I don't know why the gap between that O is so wide. So I'm just trying to bring that in a little bit between the K and the O. So Cinco de Drinco. I mean, that's an easy, look how nice that shirt looks. Easy, easy, easy. All right. And honestly, when you find a graphic that you really like, one thing that I like to do is even just change the Cinco de Mayo to like, you know, beer or funny beer. You can just say like funny beer. All right. Because a lot of the shirts indexed under funny beer, by the way, married on Cinco de Mayo, like married on Cinco de Mayo. Anybody like watching like, like somebody's getting married maybe not on Cinco de Mayo, but near Cinco de Mayo. So married on Cinco de Mayo, somebody uploads that shirt. Somebody's getting a sale. I guarantee you at least somebody's going to make a shirt and make a sale on that beer me. It's my birthday. And then Cinco de Mayo birthday, right? Like easy, easy, easy. Like you just take Cinco de Drinco and literally go up here, duplicate the text layer, move it up. Um, born, born on Cinco de Drinco easy i mean come on we don't even have to research these at this point birthdays getting married like if it's these big holidays that are fun you know that you might buy a t-shirt for you know this is the type of thing that can easily work and you don't even really need to spend that much time like thinking about you know the niche and whatnot like this will just work if you're in tier 10 amazon merch you may not want to use an upload slot on something that you know that niche that specific you can have you know shirts with more broad appeal but um you know, there was, uh, there was a shirt that I used to sell that doesn't sell anymore. It probably got ripped off, honestly. It's hard for me to try to even keep, even keep up. But, like, literally, I didn't even use graphics. It just said, um, it just said, Cerveza, 
Por favor. Like, this is all it said right here. All right, so if somebody replicates this and makes a sale, uh, you owe me a beer. All right, this is it. And I honestly would use white text. I was using yellow because it matched the uh, design. But I mean, this can be Cinco de Mayo shirts. Like, when I say text only design sell and nobody believes me, I mean, hopefully you guys believe me. Like, it's it's because I used to just do stuff like this. Like, I think the Edmund Texture font, which by the way, I can drop a link to on Creative Fabrica in case you guys are like, how do I get that font? I love that font. Um, you're going to have to pay for it, but it's one of those things you pay and then you've got it forever. So creative fabrica, I know they have it. Uh, if there's other places that have it cheaper, maybe go exploring, but, uh, cerveza, por favor, put it in a good font, white text, black shirt background, simple, simple, simple guys. So hopefully like this was a decent enough tutorial. Like there's a lot you can work with here. You can even do your own, like, like it, let's just say you have, you know, this sunset right here and if you have like a graphic of a taco, you know what I mean? Or a burrito, like I'm just using this as an example. Cause I don't have any graphics ready, but like, let's just say you grabbed a graphic like this of a burrito from some website or you designed it yourself, etc. But like you can very easily just drop a graphic over the sunset and add text. Don't add text, whatever you see fit. I mean, I typically add text and boom, you've got another design. So, I mean, like there's just endless possibilities. Stick to the best practices. I've done other videos where I talk about the best practices. So go find those, please. If you don't know what they are off the top of your head, but generally speaking, it's like make the design good enough. Make sure if there's text that you can read the text from the thumbnail without having to squint and do a double take. Um, good color contrast, good font size contrast. You know what I mean? All that, all that stuff, guys, you guys already know. Um, so hopefully you guys learned something from this video. If you found it helpful, please let me know in the comment section if you have any ideas for future content or requests for you know me to expand on anything that I showed. Also, if you could drop a like on the video for the algorithm, that would be much appreciated. And if you want to subscribe, that would also be a huge help so that I can hit 100,000 subscribers, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon with the new video.